Hello friends. It is the season of gratitude and Thanksgiving is in two days. And there's something that I'm particularly grateful for this season that I want to talk to you about. Maybe you have some of the same feelings. I am grateful this season for Dr. Podell. Now, who is Dr. Podell? Well, for most of my adult life, Dr. Podell was my general practitioner. He was really my doctor everything. Um, it was in the days when you would go to the doctor and the doctor would actually see you and provide care instead of farming you out to other specialists, which is kind of the way things go these days. The reason I've been thinking about Dr. Padell so much is because Robert and I have been um, under the weather. We've been sick. And normally I would have just called Dr. Padell. He would have seen me that day or the next day and fixed me up and things would have been fine. But the way our medical system works now, I don't really feel like I have a doctor. Yes, I have a general practitioner, but I can't get in to see him. He doesn't have any openings. So the only way to get seen when you have a minor malady, like a cold, is to go to urgent care. Now, luckily, we have a very good urgent care uh, specialist here in the Valley. And I kind of consider him my general practitioner because when I have small things wrong with me, there's no one to see. My, my doctor, my Cedars doctor can't see me. So, let me just say, this was never the case with Dr. Padell. Now, um, I think I've told you before that I am a hypochondriac. I know that sounds funny, but it's true. I worry a lot about my health, and I always think that whatever I have is very serious, even though it's not very serious. <laughs> One of my early doctors in uh, my life, when I was a teenager, I went in and I, I thought I had something very serious wrong with me. And he told me, Jill, you do. You have a very, um, a very serious case of a very mild condition. I said, oh God, what is that? He said, you have hypochondria. <laughs> so I was actually diagnosed with hypochondria. <laughs> At any rate, Dr. Podell knew that about me. Let me tell you why I love Dr. Padell. He's since retired and we are now friends, but he was just the best and this is why. Number one, I could always get an appointment with him. No matter where he was, he was in different facilities, different medical groups. If I was sick and I needed to see one or I was worried about my health, I could always see him within a day. He had saved spaces at the end of the day so people who needed to be seen urgently could come in. That makes sense, right? He felt like really the, the go-to guy when I didn't feel well. Number two, he was always happy to see me. He asked how I was genuinely, not just what's wrong with you, Jill, but you know, how are you? How's the family? How are the children? And I would ask him the same questions. So he was very warm and very, had a lovely bedside manner, shall we say. Number three, he always looked me in the eye when we were in the exam room. Today, when you go into the doctor, they're looking at the computer 100% of the time, which is fine, I guess. They're trying to determine what you need and where you've been but not Dr. Bedell. He would always look at you, make sure he was reading you right, you know, do a thorough examination. I just went in for my physical a couple months ago. The doctor did not touch me. <laughs> he did not touch me. Okay, that's fine. But Dr. Padell would, you know, look in your ears, look in your eyes. Definitely a lot of care went on when you visited him, very thorough. Number four, Dr. Padell never laughed at me. Never laughed at me because of my maladies. You know, I would go in with kind of crazy stuff because I have this problem, I think I'm sick. <laughs> he never laughed and he always took me seriously. I get a little choked up because, you know, he really saw me as a person. Um, he took me seriously. 
He ordered tests to confirm I was okay. So he wouldn't just say, don't worry about it. He would say, okay, well, let's check for this. Honestly, that doesn't happen anymore. And lastly, number six, he would follow up to make sure that I was okay. So, oh, I might sound like an old lady and say I miss the good old days, but I sure do miss Dr. Padel, and I am very grateful for him this Thanksgiving um, for the care that he took of me and my family. He also saw my daughters, my husband, you know, they would come, my daughters who uh, had moved out of town would come in and I would be nervous about them and he would see them. So, Dr. Padel, I think you're the greatest. Happy Thanksgiving.